हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ओरल सब म्यूकस फाइब्रोसिस दैट इज आल्सो नोन एज ओ एस एम एफ सो विदाउट गेटिंग डिलेड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर माय वीडियो एज इट मोटिवेट मी टू मेक मोर वीडियोस नाउ व्हाट इज द इंट्रोडक्शन ओरल सब म्यूकस फाइब्रोसिस ओ एस एम एफ इज एन प्री कैंसरियस condition you can see over this diagram this is a case of osmf now what is the definition for osmf according to pinsberg it is an indigenous chronic disease affecting any part of the oral cavity and sometimes pharynx all through occasionally preceded by and or or associated with juxtra epithelial inflammatory reaction followed by fibroelastic changes of lamina propria with epithelial atrophy leading to the stiffness of oral mucosa and causes stiffness and inability to eat in an simplified way we can say that osmf is defined as a pre malignant condition affecting oropharynx nasopharynx and oesophagus categorized by a juxtra epithelial inflammatory reaction followed by fibroelastic transformation of connective tissue which leads to mucosal atrophy rigidity and dryness and also inability to eat now what is the etiology for osmf some of the etiologies are chilies tobacco betel nut betel nut plus lime nutritional deficiency and bacterial infection which leads to osmf now what is the clinical features for osmf there is osmf can affect both the sex that is male and female occur basically in the age group between 20 to 40 years location mostly present on buccal mucosa soft palate uvula tongue floor of mouth and labial mucosa burning sensation of oral mucosa which get aggravated by eating spicy food there is a hypersalivation or dryness of mouth in case of osmf patient stiffness of oral mucosa is there reduced mouth opening is present there is difficulty in tongue protrusion that is tongue movement is restricted in case of osmf difficulty in swallowing blanching of mucosa that is the whitening often take place in a spot so mucosa acquires as a marble like appearance fibro uh, vertical fibrotic bands are present that can be palpated easily and feel rough there would be involvement of soft palate is marked by fibrotic changes and clear delineation of soft palate from the hard palate is present in case of advanced osmf shankan ovula is there what are the clinical stages of osmf according to the classification there are there are five stages according to their clinical aspects of osmm that is grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 grade 4 and grade 5 now we are going to look about the clinical features of these grades one by one there are some of the features and these features are related with grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 and grade 4 grade 5 that means what are the changes we are going to observe gradually over this five grades theek hai now grade 1 is known as very early stage grade 2 is mild 3 is moderate 4 advanced and 5 advanced with pre malignant and malignant changes first of all what are the symptoms we can see over grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 and grade 4 5 osmf there are burning sensation of mouth vesicles and ulceration which is present in grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 grade 4 and grade 5 osmf but in grade 5 osmf there is all the classic signs of oral submucous fibrosis is present and it is also associated with leukoplakia and lichen planus now what will be happen if once eat spicy food in case of osmf it will irritate theek hai mucosa get irritated with spicy food in all the cases of osmf that is grade 1 to grade 5 what are the mucosal changes occur in grade 1 to grade 5 case of osmf in grade 1 there is no color changes in mucosa in grade 2 mucosa is blanched and there is loss loss its elasticity in grade 3 blanch or bake leather like mucosa is present 
in grade 4 there is blanched opaque leather like mucosa is present in grade 5 we as we know there is all the clinical signs of osmf and it also get associated with leukoplakia and lichen planus now what are the fibrotic changes seen from grade 1 to grade 5 osmf in grade 1 osmf there is no fibrosis or bands are palpable in grade 2 no clear cut fibrotic band present Matlab, there is fibrotic band but you, you can't differentiate there is no clear cut demarcation between fibrotic band in grade 3 vertical fibrotic bands on the buccal mucosa is present which make it stiff mucosa which make buccal mucosa stiff in grade 4 there is thick fibrous band occurring on both sides of the buccal mucosa in retromolar area to the pterygomandibular raphe area same as goes with grade 5 now in case of grade 1 osmf the mouth opening is normal that is 44 mm in grade 2 there is slight restriction in mouth opening that is the mouth opening will be between 26 to 35 mm in grade 3 mouth opening reduces to 15 to 25 mm in grade 4 there is very little mouth opening that is 2 to 15 mm tongue movement in grade 1 there is normal tongue movement grade 2 also have a normal tongue movement in case of grade 3 osmf there is not much affected tongue movement but in case of grade 4 and grade 5 there is restricted tongue movement guys this is tongue t o n g u e sorry for the mistake guys now what are the clinical aspects what we can clinically see in grade 1 to grade 5 osmf so that we can differentiate that this is a grade 1 osmf and this is an advanced grade 5 osmf in grade 1 osmf common symptoms is burning sensation in mouth acute ulceration recurrent stomatitis not associated with mouth opening in grade 2 there is burning sensation also buccal mucosa appear malted and marble like fibrosis palpable intensizal mouth opening reduced to 26 to 35 mm in grade 3 trismus with mouth opening 15 to 25 mm buccal mucosa appear pale vertical fibrotic band can be easily palpable grade 4 trismus with mouth opening less than 15 mm there is shunken uvula and appear as small tongue movement limited on palpation there is on palpation of lip circular band is felt in the entire mouth in grade 5 there is hyperkeratosis leukoplakia or squamous cell carcinoma is also seen now what are the management for the osmf there should be restriction of habit if someone is on a habit of bitter nut chewing there should be con there should be counseling for that that they should quit that habit medical therapy such as vitamin e supplement should be given hydrocortisol injections for the osmf patients lycopene should be given antioxidants should be given and there should be a physiotherapy such as bellowing of the mouth physiotherapy such as bellowing of the mouth should be properly demonstrated and and should be advised patient to do it on a regular basis cryosurgery can be performed it is a method of local destruction of the tissue by freezing in situ diathermy should be performed useful in early to the moderate cases now leukopene leukopene drug is given for a period of three month duration during which uh, the patient will be re-examined in every 15 days antioxidants should be given for the treatment of osmf and one should also know that one should recall the patient or re-examine the patient in every 15 days thank you hope you like Thank you. You hope you liked it. Please do like, subscribe and share my video.